Don't take Tylenol. If you're pregnant, and when you're uh, when the baby is born, don't give it Tylenol. When you make a blanketed statement like this, it sounds like we give Tylenol to kids arbitrarily, and that's not the case. As you can see, Tylenol is given for fever or for pain. If you're a parent out there, I don't think you're going to give Tylenol if it's not indicated, right? You can avoid it at all. Just don't give it Tylenol. I'll, I'll say really, this. Really, I'll what do you have to lose? You really don't have much. Well, there is a lot to lose. Infants have the same pain and discomfort that adults experience. Yeah, there's also just there's other, many many other conf confirmation studies. Um, one of, there's two studies that show children who are circumcised early have double the rate of autism. And it's highly likely because they're given Tylenol. Well, let's unpack those two studies. We think these are the two studies that RFK Jr. is referencing. The 2013 one compared autism rate and circumcision rate across countries and found a correlation or a link. The 2015 Danish study looked at over 340,000 boys and saw a slightly higher autism diagnosis after circumcision. But here's the catch: neither study proved Tylenol. Causes autism. Oh, you know, none of this is this positive, but all of it is stuff that we should be paying attention to. You know what else we should pay attention about is maternal diabetes. Two times higher autism risk. Low birth weight babies. These are babies born under 5.5 pounds. They have three times higher risk for autism. The problem with sweeping statements is they skip context and oversimplify complex research. So saying things that it's highly likely without any reference or citation isn't science; it's speculation. Don't let viral soundbite replace decades of research. I'm your BFF for health-related facts. Stay tuned for more videos like this, and if you found this helpful, please subscribe to my channel.